Hari Om to all. I am Ramesh Swami from Unnati. And I am thrilled to embark on this podcast journey along with Swami Muktanandji of Anandash. While I won't dwell deep into Anandashram just yet, rest assured that as we journey through this episodes, through the episodes with Swamiji, you will discover the profound teachings and luminous personalities associated with this spiritual sanctuary. Throughout our discussion, we will unravel the wisdom of Papa Ramdar, the grace of Mataji Krishna Bhai, the serenity of Swami Satyandi, Satyandi, and of course, the insights of Swami Muktani himself. But this podcast isn't just about listening. It's about engaging with these timeless teachings and exploring their relevance to in our lives today. I am a seeker on the path of personal growth and inner peace. While I may not take take up difficult sadhanas, my journey has been one of gradual transformation guided by wisdom and teachings of Swami Muktananji. This podcast is my way of sharing the insight and lessons that have positively impacted my life in the hope that they may resonate with yours and inspire others on their journey of self-discovery and happiness. To the audience, thoughts, questions, and reflections are not only welcome, but encouraged. Please comment. Please embark in on this journey together with me. I welcome Swamiji. Haryom. Haryom. Welcome to Swami Muktanandji, uh, who has been my inspiration, my guide. I have always gone back to him for many guidances. And not that I have gone and asked a question, but just the, the way he comes across gives me a lot of answers. So, so grateful, Swamiji, that you are with us today. And uh, we are starting this series of episodes. Uh, which is definitely help many people like me uh, who are seekers in some way or the other. Namaskar. We are also deeply happy because it is an occasion given to us or provided to us to remember about the different facets of spirituality. Periodical hammering, hammering is necessary. And every time when we approach the subject, new, new facets will come. So in a way, God is arranging through you for uh, bringing out this. It starts kindling and then a, we get a, a, an altogether different viewpoint, which would not have struck to us at all. Thank you. Thank you so because much. Some, some instrumental cause should be there. So we take it like that. OK. And we are Thank very happy. So we are happy that uh, Unnati, which uh, Learn, earn, and stand tall. You no, know? it's very nice to hear how spirituality enters into this learn, earn, and stand together. That it is a journey that will be very, very interesting. Let us, let us try our level best and pray. So, Swamiji, we started the journey with you on 13 September 2003. Yeah, I remember. And you were there. So, we, that was the day we had the first bhajan and we yeah. started it. Yeah. So, Swamiji, to uh, start with in the first episode, I, I have a very important question to ask. You did use the word spirituality, and this keeps 
popping up on a daily basis when you discuss with people. Uh, people will ask you, they will come and ask me, um, are you a religious person? And then I realize that I am not a religious person. I don't go to temples every day. I don't uh, chant uh, big uh, slokas and mantra. So sometimes I say, oh, I am not all that religious. Then I want to define myself as probably a spiritual person, but I know that I don't do the inner sadhanas. I don't meditate. So I am always confused. So my question to you is, um, what should spirituality, how, how do we, uh, spirituality is a vast subject I know, but how for a very ordinary person like me, what should I take spirituality as? What would be the definition? You are perfectly right. Right from our young age, we have developed a lot of concepts about spirituality. Religion, the word, now what we, when we use the word religion, it separates people from one sect to another. But spirituality <laughs> unites everybody because that is a common factor in everybody. Actually, our master used to say the word religion means bind back, bind back to the origin. So actually, and that is the real meaning. It's not an English word. It's a Latin word. So the, to bind back to the original. So that means religion is uh, universal. But unknowingly, un unfortunately, God has made it now so complicated that uh, it separates from person to person, uh, rites and rituals from person, methodology different. So we don't get any idea at all. But the word spirituality, it is directly addressing to, address to everyone. Why we say so? Because spirit is the subtle and mysterious power which is within everybody. Normally we have heard the word spirit and matter. So the matter gets activated only in the presence of spirit, Chetana. And spirit needs, spirit, spirit is, it is, it is not palpable. So spirit needs something to express itself. So it needs matter. Okay. Now we yeah. all must have got a projected in, in individuality called a you know, body, mind, intellect. We have got a name. We have yeah. we have we have an image about ourselves. It is from that platform we interact with the world outside. And what dominates our mind is our likes, sense dislikes preferences, priorities, rights and wrongs, ambitions, our, our uh, bondage or what you call uh, towards our name, fame, power, position. This is the sum total of this me and mine. And we start from this me and mine. So a knowledge about spirituality will surely enable us to ultimately free ourselves from the clutches of this me and mine. In every field, at home, in the workplace, with friends. So this is what we want. The absence of the absence of the knowledge of spirituality, directly or indirectly, is responsible for the inner and outer chaos. When we say we don't have peace of mind, no. it, is because, it is because of this. So spirituality has relevance to our workday life. Workday life. Let us try to do a bit of what what is this uh, uh, spirit? Spirit. Yeah. spirit has been defined as the life force. Yeah. The force because of which the words are coming, the hands are moving, the feeling that we are sitting, the feeling that you are now hearing, you are asking that power. Normally, we call it as life force, you know, prana, uh. jivan. No. In Bhagavad Gita, he says, jivanam sarva budeshu. I am there in the form of life force. So, easy, easy way to start with the knowledge of uh, uh, spirit would be to oh, look at ourselves. I am alive today. That is why I am responding to everything. I am reacting to everything. I am acting to everything. For every moment, everything comes right from the moment I get up in the morning till I retire to bed. 
where is family life professional life social life in these three fields i am becoming active because of the presence of this life force so it is with me it has been with me absence of this awareness makes us feel that we are individuals yeah and we are guided by its dictates naturally we end up with this so how do we how do we make it a reality suppose we start going a di- in a day suppose 5 to 10 minutes suppose we set apart we follow some discipline whatever it suits to our temperament anything in in uh, in ananda ashram you might be knowing that it is the nama chanting we give a name to the spirit and when we chant the name we, sh- we are reminded of the spirit the spirit the spirit which is making me to chant your master says while chanting you should know that you are chanting the name of one who is within who is making you to chant Uh-huh. super that, which is, which is that, within and making uh, you to chant making you to chant so if that is making me to chant that is making me to see making me to hear making me to taste making me to touch making me to think making me to talk making me to walk oh, oh, oh. so that is the, this is the this is the real picture of spirit and the spirit is there in everybody correct what what differs is the bmi body mind intellect mm. suppose whenever and we act because of this body mind intellect that is our base now because over the years we have developed this act one fine morning it is very difficult to replace it so it, it constant and the concerted effort is necessary to bring back this idea that behind this body mind and intellect the sense of individuality there is a power as we keep on uh, trying 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 it is purely an inter uh, what do you call introverted inquiry in an inward journey correct nobody can help so that that is where people talk of meditation and they you say you must meditation, meditation chanting so, what not so for some people like us who are not able to sit down mm-hmm. on a sadhana mm-hmm. how do yeah. we keep reminding us that ah. awareness in uh, we were in vinar previously vinar is a uh, 2000 2000 to 3000 feet above the sea level in good old days it would be very very chill so very few vehicles would be there early morning the tractor you know it would refuse to get started so normally you have to start the vehicle and then move it when it refuses we move the vehicle and get it started <laughs> to know the spirit within us and to go by its dictate is the path suggested to us then that is not possible we go the reverse way okay what is the reverse way trying to see that the entire thing has come from the spirit so every field including what we are talking now is given by that power that spirit who is not only within us who is also in everybody in everything so that samarpana ah samarpana so the mo- moment you uh, go to the uh, office when you start meeting your clients or you start your uh, interacting with the colleagues this should be there in the subconscious level and uh, he will prompt you the prompting will come to beautifully handle and how does it express there comes the values spirituality does not express through any other thing it comes out only through values you said oh. samatva the word no oh. samatva yeah it is samatva it is one of the values samarpanam i said uh. samarpanam that is to the lord samarpanam and samatva i am talking about samatva. equanimity equanimity and you say you now suppose some somebody comes and argues you give a patient hearing you don't jump and say they stop mind the i am right you are wrong that attitude will go you will give a patient hearing then you will you will explain to them lovingly these are all spirituality in workaday life you handle a thing absolutely you can do it but when you do it with the love spirit you are inter, you are bringing spirituality into this life workaday life a, a touch of love a touch of perfection a touch of uh, 
dedication, a touch of gratitude. You yes. get a you get a cover from the uh, you get a uh, you you have ordered something through Amazon. Uh, the parcel comes. You are opening the parcel. As soon as the contents are taken out, if you remember the one which has carried the contents, which you have cut open, with a, with a, with, in, mentally you feel thankful to it and then put it in the waste paper basket. Spirituality has entered there. Because you know, it is that paper or that cover that has brought from the table, from the ascending level to your level. So in each and everything, it can, the spirituality can enter into every department of our life. It is not that, no, not only in puja or, or the temple or something. It is the rehearsal that we are getting in puja. When you go to the puja room, you, are, you, you observe certain order. You know? There is an orderly behavior there. That is the first step. When you offer the flower, you are not throwing. You know? The reverence, the meticulous care and concern, the devotion, the dedication, these are not to be limited to puja room. Right. It is a rehearsal for us in our workaday life. Oh. So spirituality in, in that way, that's why Papa, what Papa used to say, spirituality that cannot be applied in actual life is no spirituality. Oh. Every that's... moment of our life, when we forget about this factor, we act on the me and mine level. We later on slowly we will understand nothing is irrelevant, nothing is unimportant, nothing is insignificant. We try to recognize this. Because everything has come from a human being, come from intelligence, come from the spirit. The person who has conceived, discovered, invented, in, innovated, a particular gadget. It has come because of the presence of the spirit. And anything comes from the spirit is available for available for everybody. Yeah. That is why you find no discoverer or inventor or the person who has innovated has specified the beneficiary. Air is available for everybody. Water is available for everybody. Earth is available for everybody. Space is available for everybody. Sun is available for everybody. All the gifts of Mother Nature is available for everybody. Similarly, all the creature comfort that have come from a scientist mind, which has been prompted by that power, spirit, it is also for everybody. The moment you take the brush in the morning, actually, uh, we've learned that it was in 1800s, one doctor, Addis in America, he brought out this. Like that, anything that you see, they have not it specified is. the beneficiary. So the main expansion, expansion, of, expansion. So the main, uh -huh. I, yeah. So the main understanding, why to you know summarize uh, what that we have to be one thing I always learned from you from day one is about that word of love, care, and concern. So. I, I realize that, that that love, care, and concern is spirituality in its own way. Exactly. So it, it is a very, very big, it's a very big message. And if we are able to bring in that part of us on a daily practice, it, it means that we are spiritual. Even, even when even when we enter into the uh, unity, unity building, we leave the chapel outside. We can watch. How do we do that? Whether in a half a third way or whether we recognize the individuality of that chapel. It has been helping us. So the spirituality can be tried just like we told you, you know, move the vehicle and get started. We start from this and finally we will find we are moving towards the awareness of spirituality in one another. So people like me have done this other way on because you have pushed us and thank you for pushing us. So I think this today's uh, this episode's message of that if we can develop that love, care and concern in every aspect of our life, in every doing of our life, 
I think we classify right ourselves we get, as spiritual. Right from the moment we get up till we retire to bed. Done. Thank you, Swamiji, for this wonderful, uh, you know, uh, really uh, beautifully uh, shown this way path, which is definitely an easy thing, at least in the mind level today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.